Hi guys, this is Michelle with Let's Radiate, and today I'm recording a video about how I use SpringPad to stay on top of my projects and tasks that I need to use, and basically how I use it to stay organized. So this is the home screen once you log into SpringPad. All of these things are notebooks. The notebook is the highest level of organization. It's basically a category for you to put things in. A note is what you put in the notebooks, and the really handy thing about SpringPad is that it's available in several different formats. Instead of just having a text note, you can have a checklist or a task or bookmark something. And so this lets you use the format that works best for the information that you're saving. And then, you know, there's tags on the notes. So when you log in, you can see first off, right off the bat, one of the reasons why I like SpringPad, which is that the appearance is highly customizable. You can pick any background that you want you can do that under the settings menu um, you can upload a background of your own you can pick one from color lovers and then all of the notebooks are color coded you can search for a specific title or tag over here um, and then if you want to see if you're using SpringPad, for example to keep track of all of your tasks you can click on alerts and it will show you the tasks that are going to be due in the next couple of hours or anything the next couple of days or anything that's overdue also as a handy note it'll also show you if you bookmarked anything that's on sale it'll show you that which is good for all of us shopaholics out there the one of the most handy features of spring pad is that a note can be in more than one notebook at once which is super useful for reasons that i'll show you as we go along the way I use notebooks is in two separate ways. There's project slash category slash clients notebooks. Like you can see Let's Radiate right here. You can see Brand Harmony Studio. Um, and then, you know, you can see my example notebook, which would be one of the project slash category slash client notebooks and like recipes and stuff. I'm going to focus on like using the notebooks for projects and clients because something tells me that you probably are watching this video because you want to learn how to use SpringPad to bookmark recipes. The first way, oh, and the second way is I use it to sort information for action. The first way, um, so anything that is related to a specific project or client goes in that notebook. For example, if you have like Let's Radiate, um, under Let's Radiate, I'm not going to show you because some of it's top secret and also because it's a little messy right now. But <laughs> Under Let's Radiate, I have notes on specific services or ebooks that I want to do or that I'm working on. I have notes on ideas. I have notes on blog post ideas. I have notes on um, copy for specific services or ebooks. And then using the Clipper, you can also bookmark, which you can you can download the Clipper as a browser extension on Chrome and I think on Fire Firefox too. Um, but using the Clipper, you can bookmark relevant web pages and file them according to project or client, which is really useful because like, for example, this client, um, I have some stuff saved for them right now because for, for article inspiration, I have, um, things saved under let's radiate for post inspiration, uh, and under the references, which actually isn't a project or client notebook, but Point still stands. You can also include checklists that relate to a specific project or client and tasks or events related to a specific project or client. This is also particularly useful because it can sync with Google Calendar. I'll include an article from SpringPad about how to do that. I don't actually do that because I use a paper system for keeping track of my tasks because I like to uh, make things more complicated. <laughs> Not really. I just like the tactility of crossing off tasks on paper. But if you want to keep everything all in one place, you can very easily do that with SpringPad. And it syncs with Google Calendar so that you can set it up so that you get, you know, alerts from Google Calendar along with the alerts from SpringPad. It's really easy to do. So here's, you know, an example notebook. And, you know, like this has Doom. That's an event. And when the event is done, you can click it off. Um, it's actionables from insert info product here, uh, that would have to do with this example project. And then if you want to add a new note, you just, you know, click add note and it's fairly simple.
and there now you have a note uh, as I mentioned there's a whole di bunch of different ways that you of different ways you can add information um, business product TV show contact checklist alarm event note all of this stuff not all of it is going to be necessary for what you want to do but you can add it if you want to and it's handy for other life organization stuff um, when you're looking at the notes you can organize them this way or in a detailed way which I don't really think makes a whole lot of difference with these because they're all examples or you can organize them like that you can also show them on the board and organize them visually if you want to so this is another reason that I really like spring pad because it lets you organize visually which I know is what a lot of people get stuck on about organizing and of course you could also click alerts on this side and see see you know anything that's upcoming on this particular project that is going to be due soon and that you need to make sure is finished okay so now we're going to move on to the second way that you can use the notebooks which is sorting information for action you'll want to refer to my post how to stop drowning in your notes and actually use them instead which i'll link below the video for the technique that i'm talking about um, the sort information sorting technique that I'm talking about, but the basic overview is that you take your notes or information that you have and you sort it into things that you can act on immediately, things that you can act on but not right now, and things that are not actionable but that you want to save, whether for inspiration or because you'll need that information in the future, something like that. So you can see that I have, you know, the action steps, back burners, and references notebooks. References by far has the most because I use it not only for work, but for life stuff too. Anything that I want to make sure that I remember goes in the reference folder, which I can tell you has saved me multiple times when I can't find something and I have to go search SpringPad for it. So if you wanted to add something to the action steps, you would go here and you would take this actionables checklist you click add this checklist to another notebook and then there's action steps now when you go to action steps it's in this notebook too so the reason that this is so useful is because you can actively choose how you want to filter your information um, it lets you have a much bigger hand in things. It lets you, like I said, just it gives you a choice instead of just throwing it all at you one way. Um, so if you want to, you could look at, you, ch you get to choose whether you look at the project view or the action view. If you want to look at the action view, you can map out your to-do list for the week or for the month. You can figure out what needs done soon and that gives you an overall view. If you want to look at the project view, you can look at the project view to keep you on track with a particular project, to um, find inspiration, to continue your work for this project, to figure out what to do next on this project. It's just really handy because there's some overlap between, you know, a specific project and the action steps but depending on what you want to do this specific day and what information you need right now you can choose whether to look at the back burner items when you've run out of to do's and you need to start figuring out which stuff to work on next or um, a specific project when you need to make sure that what you're working on right now is aligned with the original idea that you had when you came up with the project and if it's not if that's something you want to change and then look at the action steps when you need to figure out what to do right now this instant and so that's pretty much it that's how i use spring pad to stay on top of my projects and tasks um since this was my first video like this I might have rambled a little bit, so let me know if you have any questions, and I will do my best to answer them in the comments. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.